so we have moved to action.php file, so on this file first we have start session on this page by writing session start function and after this we have make database connection on this page. After this we have write if statement with set function with argument like dollar post producted variable, this condition will check value of this producted variable is set or not. If value is set then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write defined two variable with name like dollar order table is equal to blank and dollar message is equal to blank. After this we have write if statement with dollar post action variable is equal to add, this condition will check if this variable value is equal to add then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write of statement with condition like set function with argument dollar session shopping cart variable, this condition will check if value of this variable is set or not. If value is set then it will execute if block of code and under this block first we have write dollar is available variable is equal to zero. We will use this variable for checking product already added into dollar session shopping cart variable or not. Then after we have write for each loop with condition like dollar session shopping cart as keys arrow values. By using for each loop we have fetch keys and values of this shopping cart variable. Under this loop we have write if statement with condition like dollar session shopping cart with dollar keys with product it is equal to dollar post product it. This condition will check value of dollar post product it is available in dollar session shopping cart variable. If it is available then it will execute this if block of code and under this block we have write dollar is available variable plus plus. So when dollar post product it is available into this dollar session shopping cart then value of this variable will be increased. After this in this block we want to add product quantity to that product it which is already available into this dollar session shopping cart array. So we have write dollar session shopping cart with dollar keys array with key name product quantity is equal to dollar session shopping cart with dollar keys with product quantity plus dollar post product quantity. This code will add quantity if product already into dollar shopping cart variable. Now here we have write of statement with condition dollar is available variable less than 1, here this code will check if value of this value is less than 1 then it will execute if block of code. Value of this variable will increase if product already added into shopping cart. Suppose value of dollar is available variable is equal to 0 then it will execute this if block and under this block we have write dollar i to array variable is equal to array with key product it is equal to dollar post product it variable key product name with value dollar post product name variable key product price with value dollar product price variable and lastly product quantity key with value dollar post product quantity variable. This way we have store product data into this atom array variable. Now we want to store this array into dollar session shopping cart variable, so we have write dollar session shopping cart array is equal to item array. This will store all item array data into this dollar session shopping cart array. Now suppose dollar session shopping cart value is not set then it will execute else block of code and under this block we have again write dollar i to array variable is equal to array with key product it is equal to dollar post producted variable key product name with value dollar post product name variable key product price with value dollar product price variable and lastly product quantity key with value dollar post product quantity variable. This way we have store product data into this atom array variable. Now we want to store this array into dollar session shopping cart variable, so we have write dollar session shopping cart array is equal to item array. This will store all item array data into this dollar session shopping cart array. Now we want to show shopping cart data in table format. So we have write dollar order table variable concatenation assignment with text like open table tag with one table row and five table heading like product name, quantity, price, 
total in action. Then after we have write of statement with condition like not operator with empty function and under this function we have write dollar session shopping cart variable. This condition will check the dollar session shopping cart has some value or not. If this dollar session shopping cart has some value then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write dollar total variable is equal to zero. We will use this variable for calculate total of shopping cart and display under shopping cart table. Then after we have write for each loop with dollar session shopping cart variable as dollar keys arrow dollar values. By using for each loop we can fetch keys and values of this dollar session shopping cart array. Under this loop we have write dollar open table variable with concatenation assignment with text like open and close table row tag and under this tag we have write 5 table data tag. In first table data tag we want to display product name so we have write dollar values product name variable. This will print product name. In second table data tag we want to display product quantity, so we have write dollar values product quantity variable. This will print product quantity in second table data tag. In third table data tag we want to display product price so we have write dollar values product price variable. This will print product price in third table data tag. In fourth table data tag we want to display total price of product. So here we have write number format function and under this function we have write dollar values product quantity into dollar values product price with two decimal point. This will print total price under this table data tag. In last table data tag we want to show product remove button. So under this tag we have write button tag with attribute name is equal to delete class is equal to delete and it is equal to dollar values product it and button text is equal to remove. We have store product id under id attribute of this button. We will fetch product id from this attribute in query code. Then after we have write dollar total variable is equal to dollar total variable plus dollar values product quantity into dollar values product price. This way we will get total of whole shopping cart product. Now we want to show total of whole shopping carts so we have again write dollar order table variable is equal to open and close table row tag and between this tag we have write 3 table data tag and in second tag we have write number format function and under this function we have write dollar total variable with 2 decimal point. Then after we have write dollar output variable is equal to array with key order table with value dollar order table and in second key we have write cart item with value like count function and under this function we have write dollar session shopping cart variable. This will count number of items in dollar session shopping cart variable. This way we have create dollar output variable and we have stored data in array format. Now we want to send this data to Ajax request in JSON format. So we have write echo statement with JSON in code function and under this function we have write dollar output variable. This function will convert PHP array into JSON string and send to Ajax request. Now we have moved to Ajax request success callback function and here we have received data in JSON format. Here first we want to show order table under division tag with id order table. So we have write dollar order table id with HTML method and under this method we have write data dot order table. This will display shopping under this order table division tag. After this we want to also display total item in shopping cart into span tag with class badge, so we have write dollar with badge class with text method and under this method we have write data dot cart item. It will display total item in cart and span badge class. Lastly we want to display alert message so we have write alert tag with message like product has been added into cart. 
This alert message will be appear after product has been added into cart.